Assalamu alaikum dear students. I hope you all are well and enjoying your health. The topic that we have selected for today sounds pretty simple but it's not that simple. And the topic is the past continuous tense. For tenses we know that we should not only stick to the form but the function as well. So let's get the details from our expert Mr. Arshad Mahmood. Right, thank you. Uh, form, we'll discuss form first. And, and the then the function. And then all the form in form we'll discuss first positive sentences yes. formula is we use subject and then uh, helping verb is here because of continuity of the action okay. helping verb is am are because uh, that is that is that is the present form and was were past and today we are using past continuous tense we will be using was and were, were. Okay. Uh, and then the main verb in ing form because okay. of was and were mm -hmm. and then object if required Right. I would like to give you some example. Sadid was eating oranges. Right. You know, I often use this example, oranges, this word, because... You like it? Yeah. <laughs> and I was writing a letter. Okay. Can you give me an example? You were eating an egg. Hmm. Good. But I said I was eating orange, oranges. You were saying... <laughs> Maybe I you was, like oranges and I, I like was, eggs. I was eating. <laughs> right. Positive. So look at this sentence, first sentence again. Sadid was eating oranges. Sadid subject was helping verb it will change into were okay if sad changes into plural right sajid and ali were, were eating oranges because object has to be there why because the verb eat requires something and he was uh, posting a letter but you know these structures usually in isolation may not convey the full 100% meaning. For mm -hmm. example, if I say Sadid was eating oranges, you might say when. Hmm. So it should be accompanied with some, something else. No, I think we should move to negative form. negative form. That's very simple. The formula is same. Subject, verb, in helping. ing form, before that helping verb, and then object. Now, what, what will happen when you change into negative? Simply you use not between the helping verb and, and the, the verb. main verb. Okay. And the rest of the formula is same. Right. The sentence was, Sajid was eating oranges, will change into, Sajid was, was not, not eat. eating. And the short form is, wasn't. Mm -hmm. uh, one more example, I was not writing a story. And what you said, you were you eating, were not an, eating, eating an, an egg. egg. No, were not in the short form is, weren't. weren't. But you will hear many people saying, weren't. That is wrong. <laughs> and the present form is not, aren't, it is, aren't. But here, focus on the past form, that is, weren't. Uh, can so you, the formula can you, is subject, subject, then the helping verb, verb then not, not, and then the main verb with its ing, ing form, form and then the object if required. Good, excellent. I'm learning fast. <laughs> okay, now give me a sentence. I was not doing my homework. Mm, good. That is why you were not getting good marks. <laughs> okay, we'll move to question form, interrogative. Now, what is going to happen, you know, was will come to the beginning. Right, the helping work sh verb shifts to the, uh, to, to the beginning. First position, okay. And then subject, and then the main verb in the same form, ing form. Okay. And then we have got object if needed. Uh, the same sentence. I keep on uh, retaining the sentence because this helps them learn in, uh, for a longer time. Okay. The sentence in positive was, Sided, Sided was eating oranges. In negative, Sajid, Sajid was, was not, not eating, eating oranges. oranges. And interrogative is, was, was Sajid, Sajid eating oranges? oranges. Right. Few more sentences. Were you talking to me yesterday? Mm -hmm. Or were they bringing gifts for the parents? 
और वर यू ईटिंग एन एग रेडियो ऑल इवनिंग हेयर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू Uh, give the exact time you can say we were listening to the radio all evening yesterday okay it was getting darker when it's not I mentioned was, okay yes. uh, you can mention when i was coming back from my office okay the children were having fun all the day and you can add yesterday okay. the birds were flying all around yesterday we use uh, this tense uh, to talk about temporary actions and situations in the past for example Kashif met me while I was buying some sweets. Okay. So what was temporary? I was buying some sweets. When I got home, I saw that water was running down the kitchen walls. What was running for a short time? When okay. I went there, I stopped it. Mm-hmm. It was temporary action, not okay. permanent one. Okay. We also use this tense to talk about an action that was already going on when another action interrupted it. For example. I was sleeping when someone knocked at the door. What happened then? There was interruption. Mhm. I woke up. Okay. My my the 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 process of sleep was disturbed or it was interrupted. W- one action was already going, going on, on and some other incident hap- interrupted. Happened in simple past tense. Okay. Which interrupted that. Okay. Uh they were having a cup of tea when 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 the telephone rang or someone knocked rang the bell. The Good. Raja was doing his homework when his friend called him. Happy times. Children were playing in the garden when it started raining. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. We can also use this tense with always, continually, etc. for persistent habits in the past. Persistent means constantly. habits constant with people. Uh, something that people do constantly. They don't. They don't change. For example, he was always complaining about the system. You know, some people are there. He kept they on are, uh, yeah, same the same attitude. The attitude that remains same. Yes, and very pessimistic approach. Yes. Like again, all the time complaining against the system and thinking that it's this is wrong, that is wrong, but never making uh, any effort to change the system. Yes, you're right. One more example: our new neighbors were continually disturbing us. Said a bad, said a bad, <laughs> bad, bad experience. I think. I did not like him. He was continually borrowing money. I wonder, no one would have liked him. You're right. This tense is also used to talk about a series of actions going on at the same time in the past, like one action, the other action, and one more action, maybe three, four, or five actions. And uh, I think I should give you something interesting here. Mm-hmm. When I entered the room, Sana was beating Kami. Mm-hmm. Kami was weeping, oh. and Shani was laughing at Kami. <laughs> Interesting example. Okay, how many actions? You know, three. Action number one: Sana was beating. Mm-hmm. No, action number one: You entered the room. <laughs> you you become a teacher. Good. Okay, I entered the room. When I entered the room, this is interruption. In fact, okay. Okay. what happened? Three actions were going on in the room. Simultaneously, yes. they were taking. Yes. Sana was beating. Look at the form. Was beat Be- ing form. Okay. Beating whom? The poor. Kami. Kami, <laughs> Kami was naturally weeping. Of weeping. course, he was being beaten. <laughs> yes. Look at again. Kami single subject was and then weep in ing form. ing form. And Shani was laughing at. Naughty. <laughs> Kami. Three actions. Good. This tense is also used uh, to talk about an action. that where activity was going on at every moment As like in. during that whole span of time look at the sentence the children were playing all day yesterday i mean apparently it looks very simple uh, tense continuing something going on but the process of playing was going on it was spanned over the whole time mm-hmm. all day they didn't stop they, they kept, kept on, on playing. playing and they were quarreling the whole time they were together have you ever seen such a friend Do you have any friend? 
Uh, I do have my best buddy, but we don't quarrel that much. Mm -hmm. So you can change this. You can change the word quarreling. You can change into something positive. We uh, were laughing most of the time. We keep on laughing. The problem. What happens usually? Some Pakistanis they they change like uh, the tense where simple present tense is needed. They use continuous form. I would like to give one example in present tense. Like you know, in Urdu we say "aap achhe lag rahe hain." This sort of thing. They say you're looking good. Good. But if you listen to um, a dialogue or b b by these native speakers, or if you listen to them, native speakers, they will usually say, "You look good. You look sad. Mm -hmm. You look sad. <laughs> no, you I look don't. happy." <laughs> Instead of looking, they prefer look. They don't use ing form. They use uh, simple form. And uh, here confusion arises when we uh, tend to use the words like understand. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What they do, I am understanding, understanding. that is wrong. That is wrong. Uh, we'll have to use English according to the rules of English. So we should say, I understand what you're saying. But if you want to use ing form, then you can say, I'm getting what you're saying. What you're saying. Now, I would like to give uh, some examples. Uh, in fact, there are many verbs which can't be used in ing form. For example, uh, the food tasted good. I cannot say the food was tasting good. tasting good. I liked the picture. I cannot say I was liking the picture. Uh, can we use uh, mm, hate in ing form? I don't think so. We shouldn't hate anybody. Or can I say he is hating his enemies? No. No, we don't use you right. He hated his enemy. Yes. Uh, remember, I remember. I cannot say I was remembering. remembering. In fact, remembering uh, is like main yaad kar raha tha. That is, I was recalling or I was trying to recall. If I say, thanks for remembering me, that is a wrong sentence? That is, uh, no, that is not wrong. But that means maybe, maybe the person missed you or maybe he talked about you or he, maybe he sent you some message, yes. his best wishes then. Okay. But the process of thinking something, drawing something from the back, mm -hmm. will say, I was trying to remember or I was trying to recall. Okay. We can't use remembering then in a, and then you've got wish um, and sound. We cannot use in ing form, and uh, agree. I'm agreeing with you. No, I'd say I agree with you. I do agree. I uh, and mean. I do agree. You're you're giving uh, stress. I do agree. Okay. And mean. Uh, I mean what I say. I cannot say I'm meaning what I say. Mm -hmm. But here is a mistake. Pakistanis commit this mistake. They say it's mean. I know, I have heard it a lot of time. Yes, it's mean should be it means. I'll repeat, it means, not it's mean. It's mean. It means just like uh, he eats, they, uh, he eats, uh, she weeps, and he drinks. It means. It means. And one more mistake. I am agree. I know, I have heard this as well. It should be, I agree. I agree. Uh, can we use uh, belong in any form? He, this thing belongs to me or this thing is belonging to me? Belonging is like, these are my belongings. That is a noun. You're right. These are, th that is your property. Okay. This is my belonging and give it to me. But as a this verb... This belongs to me. Yes, yeah, this and belongs to. People will say belongs from. This, this thing belongs to me. Yes. This person belongs with me. And I belong to Islamabad. This family. But people say I belong from many people here. But sometimes, you know, languages are same, some languages. I've heard many foreigners committing this mistake, belongs from. Mm -hmm. It means in their mother tongue as well, after belong, they use from, something like in Urdu say. But in English it is to, not belong from. So I think preposition as, uh, prepositions are equally important. You're using technical words now. Great. <laughs> That's good. Thank you. You know, at least you are learning. <laughs> good. Know. Consist. This, um, for example, can I say this building uh, is consisting of 100 rooms? Consists of. Consists of. And in a similar fashion, you've got possess and lack. Constitute. Yes. Constitute. Not constituting, you're right. Uh, there's so many words. I would like to give you one more example that is uh, deserve. You deserve it. Can I say you're deserving it? No. No, you deserve it. Problem, you know, what happens? Uh, learners, uh, what they do? They sometimes use was and were, but they don't change 
the verb into ing, ing form. form. For example, he was go. He was going. He was going. And sometimes, very r in rare cases, they drop, uh, you drop, <laughs> was and were, and you say, he going. That is not structure. I would repeat the formula. Subject plus helping verb here was and were because past continuous tense and then verb in ing form and, and then the object if object. required. Object. Yes. And uh, object sometimes is not needed because the verb doesn't demand an object. Mm -hmm. For example, if I say he was sleeping, no need. If you use object here, that would be wrong. And uh, you were smiling, no need to use any. Object. object they were laughing no, no need, need to say to. and he was sitting and mm -hmm. if somebody says he was sitting on a bench what is that on a bench that's an object that is in fact adverb oh, adverb right. of place okay. and adverb is something that adds to the meanings of a verb. verb right i think one of the easiest tenses just like present continuous past continuous too is very easy to learn and if you want to change into passive voice it's very easy. We'll be doing passive voice later on for each tense. Uh, and I hope this program is going to uh, make you very good users of English. And if you want to be one good user of, Eng of English, keep on writing. Today, um, Sarashid Mahmood has to have told you some formulas. Kindly write them down with the examples. Writing, uh, I think, is important. It's very because important. Because if somebody writes, it goes simply shifts to the long-term memory. They learn the thing for a long, long time. And please. Remember one advice from my side as well. When you have learned a tense, write it and speak. And while listening to, let's say, news, you may listen to BBC or CNN, or maybe you can buy some cassettes from good places. Uh, uh, you can listen to dialogues. There, you must focus on these structures. Or they can also improve by reading newspapers. For example, read the newspaper and see uh, that uh, how many sentences are there which contain past continuous tense, although in newspapers they usually use uh, present simple tense to save space, time and money. Yes, to highlight that portion, that works, that helps a lot. With the help of highlighter, you're right. So I think from my side that is enough. So this is all for today and I hope you enjoyed the topic. It was a very interesting topic, quite easy but not that easy as well. So take care. Keep reminding that you have to write it for yourself. You have to write, note down examples, and you have to learn newspapers. You have keep on watching movies if not sure. excess of that, mm -hmm. not excess, but do keep on watching movies. It helps. It really helps. You know, you keep on asking people to write. Mm -hmm. Today there is a test for you. Oh my God! I hope Although I get not, it. You're not writing anything, but I just want to see your memory. Okay. And your understanding. Okay. Uh, can you give me the formula for uh, this uh, this tense in positive form? Okay. It's like um, subject, mm -hmm. then the helping verb. Which one? I mean... Was and were. Was or were. Mm -hmm. Good. Then the verb with its ing form. Good. And then comes the object, if required. Example. Um, children were playing in the garden. Good. People say children's. <laughs> <laughs> that is wrong. Okay, can you give me formula for interrogative? Yes. Um, for a question, the helping verb is shifted to the beginning. Good. Helping verb, then the subject. Yes. Then the verb with, with its ing form. Good. And then the object, if required. Right. And in the end, the question mark. I forgot that. 10 on 10. Thank God. Yes, you know, you must remember to put that question mark. If you don't do, you will lose the marks. And in spoken, your tone must be high. Or for example, were you doing that? High tone, mm -hmm. question form. You've got good marks. Thank you. So you're, I think you were good at English. In and you should compliment my memory. You were testing yes. my memory. You eat almonds. <laughs> I <laughs> I do. Almond, yes. People say almond. That is wrong. Almonds. Good. Uh, should I repeat formulas? Sure. Sure. For positive. The... Yes. Positive subject, verb with helping verb, and verb is in ing form. Then object if needed. Negative, subject. Helping verb, not. And then verb in ing form plus object if needed. And interrogative or question. Helping verb in the beginning. Then you've got the subject. And then you have got the verb in ing form. And then object if needed. But question mark must be there as she said. That's all.
thank you so much this this topic was actually very interesting i enjoyed a lot and i hope all of the students did enjoy i hope so definitely thank you so much that's all for today allah hafiz